So this is my Prisma flow diagram, which shows the logical flow of how I retrieved my articles. When I put in my keywords into the database PubMed, it left me with 41 articles. And that's how I started off with n equals 41. I didn't use any other databases so I put n equals zero as additional records identified through other sources. Then it brought me down to records after duplicates remove. Since I didn't use any other databases, I don't have any duplicates, so it left me with n equals 41. Afterwards, I screened the records and excluded 20 of them because they did not meet my inclusion criteria as mentioned in the slide before. Then I read the full text articles of 21 of the articles that were left, and I assessed them for illegibility. To the right, it shows all the full text articles that I excluded with their reasons, and 13 of them were the ones that I excluded, either because they were too broad and didn't focus on calcium and magnesium therapy, or they were a letter to the editor, a commentary, a review by expert opinion, or the level of evidence was too low. In addition, one of them was, not, was about vitamin E and not calcium and magnesium, and another one was on gosha jinkigen effects. And that left me with eight quantitative studies left.